Also tonight, the latest on that bus passenger who fell and is now in a coma. The driver has been suspended, but she has taken a turn for the worst. The full story coming up. But first, four more taxi companies, TransCab, Premier, SmartCab and Yellowtop have infor informed the Public Transport Council that they are revising their fare structures. TransCab, which is the second largest operator here, says it will raise fares from the 3rd of January. Soon, there'll be no escaping the higher taxi fares. All but one taxi company have confirmed that they'll be raising their fares. Most taxi drivers I spoke to felt that taxi companies had no choice but to follow ComfortDelGro in increasing their fares. But they're concerned that the higher fares would mean more empty cabs and no customers. TransCab is the latest to announce a fare increase. Flag down fares will cost 20 to 70 cents more, depending on the taxi type. Peak hour charges will be lowered to 25% of the metered fare from the current 35%. Transcab drivers had mixed reactions to the changes. Better don't, don't increase. Lah. Don't follow. Lah. Mm -hmm. It's myself thinking is don't follow. Uh, if not follow, then we all at least got business. If follow, the will be a, lag, a bit lags. Lah. They say it's okay because they say everybody going to work, rushing to work. Not sure because going back, coming back, then they still got plenty of time, they can take their time. Can run take, they run take taxi. It will take MRT okay, or bus. As for comfort cabbies whose new fare structure kicked in a week ago, they say business is down. 5% to 10% are there. But okay. today, no danger. In the city, it's okay. Any, any time can get danger. Our, our skirt, our remote area is difficult to get danger. SMRT taxi drivers who had their new fares kicking in today said business hasn't been affected yet. But they're concerned that commuters may also start avoiding them. They have seen a few occasions where they avoid uh, comfort delgos cab. Some commuters questioned the timing of the fare hike. Next year, the economy is going to be bad. You know, if you increase your cab fare, everybody's going to go for the uh, buses and the trains, you know. So I think definitely they'll suffer in the earnings. They're basically also ignoring the uh, senior citizen. Someday they can't walk in the night like my mom. After 8, I want her to take a cab. Now she has to pay 25% surcharge. Prime Taxis is the only taxi company which has not made known if it is revising its fares, a decision it says it'll make soon. Well,